welcome to another lesson in the TI30X Plus Math Print Student course. In this lesson, we show how to use the calculator to perform a normal distribution calculation. In particular, we will make use of the normal CDF command. To access the normal distribution set of commands, press second and then data, and then use your arrow key to scroll right to highlight distributions. The command that we're going to look at today is number two, normal CDF. And it calculates the probability between a lower bound and an upper bound for a specified mean mu and a standard deviation sigma. The default values are mu is equal to zero and sigma is equal to one. With the lower bound, default value as negative 1 by 10 to the power of 99 and an upper bound of 1 by 10 to the power of 99. And these bounds represent negative infinity to infinity respectively. Let's show the use of this command in an example. And the example is as follows. If x random variable capital X has a normal distribution with mean mu equals 28 and standard deviation sigma equals 1.7, find correct to four decimal places, the probability that random variable capital X lies between 25 and 30, that's part A, and part B is find the probability that random variable capital X is less than 32. So let's paste or access the normal CDF command. So we'll press two, and that takes us to the normal CDF uh, setup. And what we want to do now is we want to enter the mean, which is mu, and our mu is 28. And our sigma is 1.7. So we arrow down and then we enter 1.7. You can see there's some prompting arrows, uh, both top right and bottom right of the screen. If we press enter, it now takes us to our lower bounds and upper bounds. Now we want a probability for random variable capital X lying between 25 and 30. So our lower bound is going to be 25 and our upper bound is going to be 30. So we've entered the mean, the standard deviation and the two bounds. We can now press enter to highlight calc, which is short for calculate. Press enter. And so our probability correct to four decimal places is equal to 0.8415. Notice that you have the option to store that value if you need it in a subsequent calculation. We also have two other options. One is solve again, and the other is quit. Now, we're going to take the solve again option because we've got a part B, which involves the same mean and the same standard deviation. So we highlight solve again and press enter, and it takes us back to that normal CDF screen with the mean and sigma already entered. Press uh, enter to now uh, toggle through to our lower bound and upper bound. Now, in part B, we want the probability that random variable capital X is less than 32. So our lower bound is going to be negative one by 10 to the power of 99. And our upper bound is going to be 32. We then press enter to highlight calc, short for calculate, press enter again, and so co correct to four decimal places, the probability that random variable capital X is less than 32 is equal to 0.9907. Now we've finished this particular problem. Again, you have access well, to the possibility of storing that probability if you need it, but we're going to arrow down and then arrow to the right to highlight quit and press enter. And it takes us back to the home screen. That's it for this lesson. Thanks for watching and see you next time.